Hey there guys, this is Corey with uh, Slash Gear. Today I have a brand new phone here from AT&T and Samsung. This is the Samsung Focus Flash, as you can see up top. This is actually a brand new uh, Windows Phone 7, um, Mango 7.5. This is the latest version of Windows uh, Phone 7. Um, decent little mid-range phone. Here's the box. We're going to quickly unbox it and let you see it. There it is. It's a 4G device, but it's not uh, LTE. This is HSPA Plus with AT&T. Um, we have a 1.4 gigahertz processor, a 3.7 inch display. But uh, yeah, real quick here, one of the big things to know is this does run Windows uh, Phone 7 Mango 7.5, the latest version of Windows. Um, there it is. The usual no texting and driving. Real quickly, we'll uh, look through the box. Do not throw this card away. We have a little headset. It's nice to see, although it's probably a pretty cheap pair. It's nice that they've included it. And then your usual charger and the USB cable. Very simple, very standard. So we are going to throw that aside and get to the phone. Now there's two points I want to make with uh, this new phone. Let's yank off some of this stickers first. There's even one down here. All these stickers they provide. And another on the back. So what we have here is the Samsung Focus Flash. They've also just released the Focus S. But uh, what we have here is a 3.7 inch display and the S is a uh, 4.3. They're both AMOLED so it's got a great crisp, very bright screen with uh, really good colors. But the, uh, the big point here is this is only $49.99 on AT&T. So I mean you get a good powerful phone, 1.4 gigahertz processor, AMOLED display, 5 megapixel camera on the rear with LED flash, 1.3 uh, front facing camera, all of that for just $49.99. So as you can see, it looks quite good. It's it's thin, it's sleek. It has a actual dedicated button down here for the home button, unlike the original Focus. And then, well, it looks to be some sort of lightweight aluminum down on the bottom, but it it's got a good size and shape to it. I like it here so far. And then the one other thing I wanted to mention is we do not have a micro SD slot here. So really quickly there's a SIM card, we have a 1500 milliamp battery and as you can see no micro SD slot. It does have 8 gigabytes of internal memory uh, you can use about 6 of it so while that isn't a lot um, we do get you know a decent phone f you know for a pretty low price at just $49.99. So let's turn it on real quick let you look at uh, you know Mango 7.5 and uh, then you can expect more in the full review. This is just a quick video for you. We have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, the power and uh, wake button on the side. And down below we have the dedicated camera button. Always nice to see that included. And the micro uh, port for charging. We're already booted. And then over here the volume rocker. Pretty standard stuff. Windows phone slapped on the bottom. But uh, what did I just get into? So here it is. We've seen plenty of it. But uh, yeah, not bad. The screen looks great. The blue and you know, blue and orange there. Obviously, everything completely customizable with Windows Phone 7. But uh, yeah, a quick look. One of some pictures. Some of the pre-installed pictures were a little goofy, like this awesome number five. Pretty pointless. We got a few other numbers in there somewhere. But uh, there it is, the Samsung Focus Flash coming to AT&T here in uh, the next couple days with Windows uh, Phone 7 uh, Mango version 7.5. It's uh, a great little phone for just for just that low price of $49.99. Like I said, the no micro SD is probably the only thing that would, would maybe have me worried, but it's not really much of a, a concern. 
because you do get you know the eight gigabytes of internal storage, which should be enough for the average user. But uh, there it was, just a quick look of the new Samsung Focus Flash. There it is, guys. We'll be reviewing this here shortly. Thank, uh, thank you for watching.